However, Prophet ﷺ also he gave special status to some special Sahaba, senior ones. Well, that's why he said of Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu, he said, "Hadan al-sam wal-basar, hadan al-ithnan, Abu Bakr and Umar, al-sam wal-basar. They are like my sight and my hearing, or my hearing and my sight." He was saying of them that he did not say that of others, and he said. Close all the, the doors except the door of Abu Bakr al-Siddiq to my house from the mosque. And he said other things also concerning Sayyidina Abu Bakr, concerning Sayyidina Umar, that in my absence, if you come and you bring the money of the zakat, bring, give it to uh, Abu Bakr if I am not present. And then he said, what about if Abu Bakr also is not present? He said, give it to Umar after that. So, uh, he did not mention, uh, give it to just anyone. No. So these are signs that seniority plays a role also. And they knew also, the Sahaba al-Kiram, they were informed by Rasulullah so to keep adab, to uh, keep respect for that hierarchy and that seniority, then you will be safe. If you don't, then you will be in trouble. Tahwilah bahwa para sahabat-sahabat Nabi Muhammad SAW adalah bagi bintang-bintang yang ada Dan mereka semua itu bercahaya Dan mereka semua mengambilnya daripada sang Nabi SAW Maka kita juga harus merenungi Menyadari bahwa ada status-status khusus Di antara mereka yang tinggi derajatnya Seperti dengan Sayyidina Abu Bakar Asyidik Lalu juga Sayyidina Muhammad mengatakan Bahwa Sayyidina Abu Bakar Asyidik dan Sayyidina Umar Adalah bagi pendengaranku Lalu dikatakan juga jika semua pintu-pintu rumah itu tertutup maka masukilah melalui pintunya Sayyidina Abu Bakar. Juga dikatakan juga jika aku tidak ada maka berikanlah uang zakat itu kepada Sayyidina Abu Bakar Asyidik. Jika beliau Sayyidina Abu Bakar Asyidik tidak ada maka berikanlah kepada Sayyidina Umar. Di sini kita renungkan bahwa di situ ada prioritas, di situ ada tingkatan-tingkatan, ada adab-adab kita. Begitu juga dengan musyid dengan guru. So that is what adab is here in this case. And similarly, recently, for example, if someone coming also from among the murids and wants to do some activities, some projects, some events, and so forth, we ask, uh, where is your clearance? That where, where is your, uh, the, the, the clearance of adab? That because here there is a, uh, representative that Maulana put, Maulana Sheikh Hisham, as he put him in, in most areas of the world, as we have seen, as everyone can witness, even people not affiliated to Tariqah, they know of that, they know of him, and of his uh, level, and of his responsibility, and his qualifications, and so forth. So most of all, we should know if we claim any connection to Maulana Sheikh now. <laughs> You know, any if we claim any connection to Maulana Sheikh Nazim, we have to know his his family, his sons, his daughters, his uh, his inheritors, his senior ones, his lions, his soldiers, his generals. We cannot just come and pretend that we are all brothers, we are all in Tariqah, we are all representatives. We are all, uh, no, you are all. Inshallah, we are all guided and in each one of us a special parcel of that nur as habi can nujum my companions are like the stars whichever one you take you will be guided however there is a hierarchy those two are like the hearing and the sight so same thing inheritorship from rasulullah teaching us that keep respect and clear your adab otherwise your supposed love for Maulana Sheikh Nazim and your supposed f following him is, is a mismatch because there is adab missing and there is something that is not quite right. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us, teach us, forgive us and keep us always with Maulana in the way that he loves for us and that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa blesses so that in the end Insha'Allah, the door of Rahma will be opened Amen. above us and to, from our right and from our left and every side. Amen.
and inshallah uh, we will be closer and closer to the heart of Mawlana and to the heart of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, we can be accepted and blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya ayyuhal nafsul mutma'inna irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan mardiyya fadkhuli fi ibadi wadkhuli jannati razaqana Allah baru-baru ini kita mendengar ada orang-orang yang ingin datang dan melakukan program-program dengan kita tapi kita harus ketahui jika seseorang memasuki wilayah yang baru harus ada adab-adabnya harus ada tata kerama-tata kerama yang dia miliki dan dia harus mengetahui bagaimana Maulana sudah memberikan perwakilannya di wilayah tersebut maka ketika masuk, masukilah dengan cara yang benar kita tidak bisa seenaknya saja datang ke suatu wilayah lalu mengatakan oh kita semua ada saudara kita Kita semua ada saudara, kita semua ada satu tarikat Kita semua ada saudara, kita semua ada satu tarikat Maka kita bisa seenaknya aja melakukan program-program tertentu Tidak bisa seperti itu Maulana sudah memberikan adab-adab, sudah memberikan petunjuk-petunjuk Maka ada adabnya Jika adab-adab ini kita langgar, maka kita banyak kehilangan Lalu Sini Muhammad SAW mengingatkan bahwa Sahabat-sahabatku ada bagikan bintang dan beliau ingatkan juga, memang mereka semua ada bintang-bintang bercahaya Tetapi ada tingkatan-tingkatannya, ada adab-adabnya Kita memohon kepada Allah SWT Agar kita senantiasa bisa mendapatkan berkah daripada Maulana Maulana Dan mendapatkan berkah daripada Rasulullah SAW Dan kita memohon kepada Allah SWT untuk kita semakin dekat hati kita dengan Maulana Dan dekat dengan Sina Muhammad SAW Sehingga itu terbuka untuk kita Itu terbuka kita untuk dekat semakin dekat sehingga kita mendapatkan panggilan ya ayat Tuhan nafsul mutmainah irji ila robi kira dia tak